another day of a year in miracles. Today we are on a Course in Miracles workbook lesson number 226. So I am going to dive right in this morning. My home awaits me. I will hasten there. If I so choose, I can depart this world entirely. It is not death which makes this possible, but it is a change of mind about the purpose of the world. If I believe it has a value as I see it now, so will it still remain for me. But if I see no value in the world as I behold it, nothing that I want to keep as mine or search for as a goal, it will depart from me. For I have not sought for illusions to replace the truth. Father, my home awaits my glad return. Your arms are open and I hear your voice. What need have I to linger in a place of vain desires, of shattered dreams, when heaven can so easily be mine? And that's it. That is our lesson for today. So what is this saying? I mean, it's basically saying that, you know, I think so many times we think, God, if when I die, this whole thing will be over, right? whether it's a hell that we've created in our mind and, and we think that we'll finally escape this dream of hell through our physical death. But what we're seeing here, of course, in miracles is saying we can choose to depart from that life of hell at any moment when we decide that it has no value for us, when we choose to live and see heaven on earth instead when we choose love, right? And we can do that at any time. And I think the misconception is that it automatically happens when you physically pass from this body to the next. And I'm not so sure that's true. I'm thinking that until you choose love, the dream continues. The dream of fear will follow you. So why not choose love now? Why wait? Why wait and live a miserable experience here within this illusion of life when you can choose love now and you can live as if you're in heaven right now? Because the whole world will change when your mind and your thoughts about it change, when what you seek for changes. And, you know, we do that anytime we are feeling anything but happiness and love, we know that we've already aligned with fear. We've already chosen fear. So it's time to get our toolbox out, right? So that we can let go of fear and choose love again. And uh, there's a lot of ways to do that. And we've talked about those many times um, through meditation, through music, through setting intentions, through gratitude through sound healings and sound baths. I mean, there's just, the list goes on and on and on. Uh, so what are some of your favorite ways to choose love instead of fear, to get out of that fear mind? I'd love to hear about them if you want to post those today. I think that would be a fun challenge for us to do today. Just list some of the things that you do to change that mind of fear to choosing love because your home awaits you right? Why, why hasten it? Why, why spend your life living in hell and choosing fear when at any moment you can choose love and change your entire reality? That's it. A Course in Miracles workbook lesson 226. And great to see all of you here this morning. So good morning, everyone. Great to see you. Hey, Deb, nice to see you here this morning. Hey, Pam. Good morning, honey. Good morning, Claire. Hey, Tom. Hey, Colette and Vera. Good morning, everyone. Great to see you. Good morning, Bonnie. Good to see you here this morning. Hey, Greg. We'll depart now. Only love exists. Yeah, heaven is now if you choose it. And you can choose it right now in this moment, in this second. You don't have to wait. Good morning, Alberto. Good to have you here on the live feed this morning. Yes, <laughs> happy hump day to you too and much love back to you, Alberto. 
I know, Barb, you know, we just, we forget. We think that we are stuck in this world of chaos and sadness, and it, we don't have to be. If we so choose, we can depart this world entirely. And it's not death that makes it possible. It's our change in mind. Good morning, Herberto. Great to see you here on the live feed this morning. Hey, Greg. I agree with you, Claire. We do need t-shirts saying, choose love now, right? I think that's an awesome idea. We need to get on that. Good morning, Nick. Great to see you here this morning. Hey, Edmund. Great to see you here on the live feed. That's right. That's right. So um, this will be a fun challenge today. So write down some of the ways you can think of. T-shirts is a great idea, Claire. Um, some ways you can think of to change your mindset from a place of aligning with fear to choosing love. And I look forward to reading them throughout the day. Great to have you here this morning. Thank you for joining. And I will see you back again tomorrow morning with our next live A Course in Miracles workbook lesson. Until then, happy hump day and I will see you tomorrow. Yes, hey Greg, only love, NDE life, yeah, it's a precious. Love is the currency, be fearless. I love that you had an NDE, ooh. I would love to hear more about that too, Greg. Love to hear more about that. So um, have a great day and uh, thank you for sharing that and I will see you all tomorrow on the live feed. All right, bye guys.